Okay, today we're talking about purging the sediment from your water heater. So I designed several iterations of this purge manifold. Here's the first iteration. I thought I'd hook it up to my shop vac and blow air into the water heater through a one-way check valve. The shop vac had trouble opening the one-way check valve. I even thought about making the whole thing out of PVC. I was concerned about blowing air through PVC. So I went with this design made out of metal, brass drain valve, you can see. But the drain valve has a small opening, so I decided to go with a larger opening with these ball valves. You can make it out of PVC, as you see here, or metal and PVC. And I'm using a Schrader valve, and that Schrader valve is where I'll use my little air compressor to blow air into the water heater to stir up the sediment. And then the drain valve is where it will drain out. So let's hook it up. I turn the gas off, turn the gas valve off, plug in my little portable air compressor. There's my drain valve. I'll install my purge manifold that I made. You don't need to tighten it too tight. Install a little garden hose to drain the sediment and water out. I have a drain, a floor drain right here. Go ahead and hook up my little air compressor to the Schrader valve. Set it to 20 PSI. And the fresh water valve is turned off to the water heater. So we don't have cold water coming in to the water heater while I'm doing this. And I went upstairs and opened a hot water valve on my faucet to relieve the pressure in this water heater tank. So now I'm just going to introduce some air into the water heater. I can hear it gurgling and bubbling. That'll stir up any sediment. Then you simply drain it out, that PVC uh, uh, ball valve that I'm doing now. Do that a couple times till no more sediment comes out. Should be good to go for another year. If you're interested in fabricating your own sediment purge manifold as seen in this video, Here's a list of parts you need. It costs roughly $22.48 at the time of this recording in 2024. You can buy a sediment purge manifold ready-made online, but they are right around $40, and I didn't want to spend quite that much money. I also highly recommend you install a whole house water filter that you see here. Collect sediment and silt. Next to it is a water conditioning filter. The water conditioning filter is made of polyphosphate. Replace it every four months or so, depending on your water quality. But the polyphosphate, uh, it basically encapsulates any um, corrosive minerals in your water so it can't stick to your plumbing fixtures, like the inside of your water heater, your faucets, your dishwasher pump, your water dispenser on your refrigerator, etc. A water conditioning filter is a lot simpler and cheaper to install and operate than a water softening system where you have resin beads and you got to have a brine tank, backwash, you know, you're running a little electric pump. There's none of that. You can see it's a much simpler, smaller footprint. Works great. I've been using it several years. That's going to protect your water heater from getting as much uh, sediment and silt and corrosion built up inside of it. So I highly recommend a whole house water filter system like this for everyone, along with purging the sediment from your water heater at least once a year. That's my professional opinion. If you got any value out of this video, please consider subscribing. It helps this channel move up in the YouTube algorithm so we can help more people with their maintenance tasks. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, and thanks for watching.